Hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to my randomized Nuzlocke of Soul Silver. Before we go heading on to Route 27 and 26 to go to the uh, to go to Victory Road, let's go get the gift from the old guy in Dragon's Den, the Dragon Master, or whatever his name is. And uh, or while I was trying to look up a bit of information of what I have left to catch or what encounters I have left to go get, I learned that there is a gift Pokemon. Back in Cienwood, that I completely missed out on, that I can never get now, because I left and did uh, Jasmine, and actually took uh, got that gym badge, which automatically took that away from me. So I don't know what it could have been. I tried loading a previous state to see what it could have been, but I don't have a state, a save state from that point. So. I have one that's like right after, where I had already defeated Jasmine, which doesn't help me, but the earliest one I have is from two gym badges, but I didn't, I overwrit one of the other save states. That is the earliest save state I have of me before I even defeated Whitney, which is insane. But the uh, Tentacruel encounter, or gift, I would have had to put every one of my Pokemon away, except for one, so that uh, I can get that Pokemon, because it's supposed to be like a fail-safe, kind of, in case you don't have a Pokemon that could uh, learn Water-type moves. But I don't understand how you could get the Sea and Wood without that. And if he doesn't give it to me now, I don't know how to activate it. Because I've seen a lot of people have issues with trying to get it for some reason. They'll have Lugia and they'll have all this stuff like that. But oh yeah, I don't have Lugia in my team yet. Or the Mewtwo Lugia. I should have named it Lugia. God damn it. What did I name it? I don't remember. Oh wait. God damn it. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Freaking... I forgot to release, or not release, uh, put a Pokemon into the uh, PC in order to have a free space for this. Yeah, I already did this. I already caught... <sighs> Do I have to get something from Claire? Or what? I guess I'm gonna have to figure out what to do real quick. Because I... I've always had an issue with this. I don't remember what I did last time. So... Thank you for the TM. Uh, is it randomized? I don't know. Mm. Yeah. I think I just got another Draco Meteor. Which I'm not complaining about, but... Yeah, so I learned that I missed the TM from Claire. I think she was supposed to give it to you after you left the cave, but... I think I used an escape rope. If I remember correctly. I don't know, it's been... Quite a few days. So I've actually played. So now we have to go all the way back. If we can do that, I'll be right back. God damn it. Good to see you here. Okay, thank you. Yes, finally. Okay, so to get the Dratini, you have to defeat Claire, go to the Dragon's Den, answer his questions. No matter what, if you get them like on the compassionate side, if you get them on the other side, you get a, you get the Dratini no matter what. So then you're supposed to leave normally without using the escape rope and talk to Claire. She gives you the TM. She goes back to her gym. And then you're supposed to walk back in, I believe, and then go back to the Elder if you have a free inventory. And he should give you the Dratini. A Loudrid. Ah. Uh, or is that Exploud? I think. Is Loudrid a different Pokemon? I can't remember. I think that's an Exploud. Yeah. I didn't read the nickname. Or the thing. So. Welcome to the team, Big Mouth. Yay. I did all that for <laughs> Exploud. Really? That's fine, I wouldn't have gotten a legendary anyway for it, for the fact that it's not randomized that way. 
This video also might be a shorter one because I don't want to do um, Victory Road in this video. I'd rather leave Victory Road and the Elite Four all in one video. And just uh, have that all as like one really long video if possible. And then after that video, I could start Kanto if I really want to. Uh, do I still have my Repel on? Maybe. No. Oh, okay, yeah, I do. Okay, let's see what encounter we get here. Actually, should I get the water encounter or should I get the grass encounter? I don't know. Uh, I guess now I'm getting water, so. That made my uh, that made the choice for me. Grump pig. Probably not. I'm fine. I don't need it. I hate giving up all these encounters, but I don't really need them, so. Hey! Do you know what you just did? You just took your first steps into Kanto. Check your Pokemon. Uh, no, nah, I'm fine. <laughs> See ya! Um, what cave system is this? Tojo Falls. Oh no, I also have an encounter in the Tojo Falls. Okay. Let's see what encounter we get here. Because we actually have to go through Tojo Falls in order to do anything else. Do I even have Waterfall? No, I might not. Where do I get that? Or did I already get it? I don't know. I've... N okay. We'll see ya. I think I'm pretty well off with the team I have. But in saying that, I might actually regret not picking up the, all these encounters. But it's fine. Wait, uh... Do I have Waterfall? Yes, I do. Can I teach it to my Heracross, please? Damn it. I can teach it to you, but you can't learn any more moves. I don't think. Oh, I could replace Flash. Oh, do I want to, though? I don't think there's any other... Ca no, there is another cave that I have to use Flash in, I think, in Kanto. So that'd be really dumb of me to do so. What is Waterfall's thing anyway? It's power 80, 15. I'm... <sighs> Should I use it on him? He, I know he gets like a really powerful water move after this, but like... Um... You know what? Screw it. I don't care. I really don't care. I'm just getting rid of Thrash. I don't want it. I don't like moves that have to get, like, that make me have to, like, that, that make it the part where I can't heal, I can't do this, I can't do that, freaking, I like having full control over the battle, pretty much, or at least as much as I possibly can, with me only being able to control one side. Uh, can I even go through here? Yes, I can. It'd probably also be smarter for me to actually use my repels, but, oh. <laughs> I don't know. Um, nice. Can't get it. So, sorry. See ya. If you had shown up before Garbo Pass did, friggin' you would be my encounter. Wait, is there a cave behind? Wait. Wait. When has there been... Um... Oh. It's a radio stud. What is this? 
I've never seen this room before. I've never noticed that there was a cave back there. That is really hard to see. Hmm. At least I learned something new. And this whole series wasn't just me doing the exact same thing over and over again. Oh, hello. Yep. What do you have? Hmm. Yeah, I may have really powerful Pokemon. I most definitely have more than, have more than enough power to do anything. I don't feel like I can commentate over a Pokemon game unless I have an, I have someone else. Cause I've been editing and going through all my old like all the videos from the series, and I'm just like, I can't think of a genuinely decent thing to think of, and it's kind of irritating. I, I've uh, I've scrapped a whole series before because of something like that. But I'm making 2021 the year that I don't re do uh re I try not to re record anything unless it has been deleted or I have to redo it in in order to control uh do a series or to continue the series. But I'm finding myself just saying, like, just... Woo! Uh... Do I want this? It's, like, really powerful. But it only has 5 PP. 5 PP. I don't need tackle anymore, so I could possibly teach. Yeah, I'm teaching it. But I'm finding myself having a hard time even talking in general. And whatever comes out of my mouth is pretty much nonsense and stuff that doesn't make sense. Or I say the wrong word or something stupid. Ooh! Team 37, what is that? But is it actually Sandstorm? I doubt it. Was it hidden powder? Uh, power? Yeah, 37. Ooh! I don't know what to use any of those TMs on. Uh, TMs on. But... But I, uh, in editing the last few videos and going through the whole series, I've learned that I, s I can think perfectly fine when I'm not recording to get, like, some of the, like, or to get my point through. Like, oh, yeah, I probably should level up my Pokemon to this level so I don't have to worry about it evolving now. Or, or when I grind, like, when I was talking about for Alligator a few episodes ago, episodes ago I was like, maybe I should freaking, um... Level them up to this point, and then evolve them on camera, and now I don't have to worry about evolving him or having him evolve off camera. And that's what I was thinking immediately as I was saying. It. I was like, "Dude, I could have just had a better sentence or something." <laughs> I feel like if I were just to do these little things here and there, and actually get my point completely through and more cohesive. I'd have probably a better time editing, and I'd probably have a better video in the long run. I don't know why I've always been... Like, I'll just say the most simplest way of trying to get my point through. And so, like, oh, freaking, I want to do evolve my Pokemon on camera so that I don't have to worry about it evolving it during a grinding session. Which maybe next series, I might have to do live streams for it, but I would have to do those live streams after the video has gone out so that I don't freaking um, just like show you all my Pokemon and where I am 
pretty much. But I struggle as it is to get videos out on a general daily basis or like a more reliable schedule. God damn it. I may just have to sit, or uh, may have to uh, upload Mondays, to, uh, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, just so that I have a schedule going on and something that I can actually control. And so I actually have Tuesdays and Thursdays off completely, so I don't have to wake up really early in the morning, re uh, edit a vi like edit the rest of the video, render it, upload it, make a thumbnail for it, and get it out. But I've done that for so long, and that had been like the best way of me actually getting videos out every day or at least every uh, chance I could get to get a video up that day but I am just so tired near the end of the day because I used all my energy up at the beginning but my schedule is also messed up because I have to work in between other people's schedules and a lot of other stuff like that so I have to work at night in order to get a video where I'm not having music in the background or freaking something that freaking will make this seem le even more unprofessional than it already is. Hi, Meditite. Can we get to Route 26 already? Please. I want to see what the next Pokemon is. And route 26 are we are are we already around 26 please don't tell me I wasted my freaking encounter already okay no I still have a, a fair bit to go until I'm at route 26 I want to make the next Pokemon series I do better than anything I've done before even if that's with me and Bob or whatever but I'm going to damn well try to make it the best thing I ever I possibly could make. That's what I should have been doing with this series. At least I felt that way at the beginning, where I was like, oh yeah, these videos are really good and everything. But like, the more and more I want to record and actually do something without taking a break in between, the more and more I freak out and stress out and then ruin the video. Oh, hi, Croconaw. Can you, like, move aside so I can get this item, please? See ya. Thank you. Why can't it just be a Master Ball once? I can get a Master Ball when it's off camera. When it's on camera? No, nah, can't. Not allowed. I, I also may have missed an item here and there that could have been a Master Ball this whole time. But I'm not going back because that's not the spirit of this. At least I don't think this is the spirit of how you do a randomized Nuzlocke. I feel like when you go from start to end, you don't really go back. Unless you want to get a certain encounter that you missed. But I still have, I think, one or two more encounters here in Johto. But I don't get those until I unlock Ho-Oh. And that's not even one of the encounters. I don't think. It may have been. Because I think there's one to encounter you can get in the tower that goes up to Ho-Oh. But other than that, I don't think there is another one. The, un the other encounter might just be Ho-Oh. I'm going to have to look up on, a on the Johto map to see what I have missed so far. But I think... By the time I defeat the Elite Four, all the encounters that I didn't get in Johto, I can't get after that. Because I'm already in Kanto, I'm already in like, the post story, I'm already there. Those encounters don't matter anymore. I've had my chance to grab them. And that's what I don't like about certain encounters, because there's certain secret encounters you can get. Like the Eevee in Gen 1, where if you go to the town with Erica, I think, as the gym leader... Ooh, Deoxys. But if you go to her town or city, there's a Pokemon school that's on top of one of the uh, taller buildings 
Oh, I've never seen this Deoxys in game before. Wow. That's nice. But you can get a secret Eevee, but you have to be you have to go there immediately getting into the town so you don't miss it because it disappears after a while. I think it disappears after you defeat the gym leader, but I don't know. But in this game, there's one in Seanwood that I've never known about until like today, this morning. But Oh hi. God damn it. You're not even a heat seeker. You're just you're just there. <laughs> yeah, I'm from New Bar Town. What of it? But yeah, for, I've never ever known about that thing. I would have known about it. If I knew about it, I would have grabbed it by now. I could have seen what it was. I'm gonna have to do it on my own time, where I go back to a previous save state. That's like the earliest I have. And just go a, as far as I possibly can to try to see what it is. But I may forget to do so, so. If I forget, I forget. It doesn't matter. But at least now I know of another encounter for if I do this game again against Bob or Will or whoever. But it won't be a legendary. It's going to be any type. It'd be nice if it was a freaking semi-legendary. Or the... Oh, what are those things called? Like Tyranitar or... Dragonite or... What are those? I can't remember what those things are called. Ooh, Alakazam. But even knowing I've had like this kind of issue with talking and other stuff like that, I hope you guys have enjoyed this series so far. I hope you guys do stick with it. <laughs> as well as I hope I can actually start Kanto soon. And plow through all the other eight gym leaders. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You're going to call me anyway. I'm not going to answer. Going to choose to ignore you. Sorry. But... Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the series so far. Oh, yay. What's, what's going to be our encounter here? I do not know. I would love to skip as many trainers as possible because I think that I am pretty much leveled up far enough and I might be able to get better levels or more levels when I go to the Elite Four. Let's just hope I don't have to struggle with the Elite Four. Because for some reason, out of the many years of playing Pokemon, this was the only Elite Four that I've ever had an issue with until I finished Pearl. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, that one became the worst freaking Elite Four ever. And I had to get Bob and Will to walk me through it. And if you're now watching the series, whatever, and don't know who Bob and Will are, Bob is Sevy Savage. And Will is uh, another friend I have who goes by the name of Judgy Hydrogen on YouTube. He doesn't have he, he has like a few videos here here and there, but he's waiting to get better equipment in order to or at least I think he's trying to get better equipment in order to start um, uploading. I don't know what his exact plans are, but he joins. Do you have Flame Body? You gotta be kidding me. But um. He joins us when we play Among Us on Bob's channel. So if you want to watch that, freaking, it'll be on. I'll, it'll be linked in the description. I just have to get part two out, which has been in my care for two months now. Since I'm Bob's editor, I have to freaking, I have to do do that when I get the chance to. And I've not been that great. Okay, see what the encounter is, please. Please be something I actually care about. Decent. That is actually amazing. But can I catch it, though? I can't take any damage from it, though. Or I can't take it... I can't take... I can't... How would you say that? You can't... I can't... I can't hit it. That's why I'm going to say it. I can't hit it to take damage from it. 
So I'm just gonna have to throw balls at it and see if that works. But I've been pretty lucky so far. And being able to get most of these Pokemon within like a few Pokeballs. Okay. Now the Great Ball and Ultra Balls are acting like how they should be. Let's see if I can still throw a Pokeball. I don't know. No, wait. Uh, this one. Come on. You know you want to be a part of this team. I just can't damage you at all. Damn it. Come on. You're making this easier to catch you for the fact that you're taking your uh, you're getting recoil damage from yourself. So I probably should go heal now. So they do not want to lose this Pokemon. I do have a backup, but I don't really want to use that right now. Because I would just add another Legendary to my team. Unless I want to train up Growlithe and turn that to Arcanine. But I don't know if it has the same stats or good enough stats for it. I need to start using more than... Uh, I got to start using more Pokemon because I don't do that at all. I feel like I'd care more about the encounters if I knew what their actual stats and other stuff were. Yes. Sweet. I need I need to start getting better with my Pokemon knowledge. They're like Sometimes I think that I'm perfectly fine with my knowledge for certain things, but other times I think that I'm off by a lot. For the fact that someone quizzed me with three questions uh, earlier this week, I think. I can't remember what the questions were exactly, but I got almost all, I got two of them, two out of three questions right. But I was only like three points off of uh, answering one of the, or my answer to the second question was a few points off or a few numbers off. Of what the actual number was. Which is upsetting. The question that I messed up was, uh, how much does a Magikarp normally weigh? I said 25 pounds. And it was 22.5 pounds, I think. Or at least that's what the answer was to that quiz. I don't know if that's actually what the thing is. But... If I can remember what the other two questions were, I'll probably just stop doing what I am right now and just talk or say, uh, I'll bring him up. So. I don't think I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to be able to remember them. Yeah, I don't think I'm able to remember. I don't think I'm going to be able to remember the questions. But I got them. I got like two of them right. But oh, wait, the third one was, uh, what Pokemon has been experimented on the most? Or it was like it was something that had to do with something like that. It was like, oh, what Pokemon was experimented with or whatever. And it was like, or. I can't exactly remember what it was, but the uh, answer was Mewtwo. You are definitely a heat seeker. <laughs> but yeah, the third question answer was Mewtwo. What was the first one? Oh, first one was what typing is Charizard normally known as? Are known to be? I was like, fire flying. It's like, correct. Second one, how much does a Magikarp normally weigh? I said 25. It's 22.5 according to that quiz. And then it was like, what Pokemon was experiment, uh, ex like an experiment or was experimented on? And it was like Mewtwo. 
I was like, correct. So I'm like, I think I know some knowledge on Pokemon, but I have to get better at it. Woo! No! <laughs> no! At least I have a grass type. Because no. Not happening. I'm going to go with Razor Leaf. Oh, wow, you're faster than me. Great. No. What? Ah, I forgot you had ice type moves. Please take it out. Please take it out. Please take it out. Please take it out. Yes. Uh huh. I was afraid I was going to lose my Tropicana, but I have a Pokemon that could take its place. I just have to grind it up. What, what I should be looking for in encounters is Pokemon that could back up or be the backups of the Pokemon I have or the Pokemon I want to use. Like with what I have now for a team. Like Typhlosion for Alligator, Tropius, uh, my dead, Sunkern, Pe uh, Rayquaza, and Rotom at this moment, which is not on my team at the second, but he is on the layout. Um, He should be. But I have to, like, I should go find a replacement for each one of these. So far, I have a Moltres. I have a Sceptile. I don't remember what I have for water. I think it's Suicune, maybe, that I could switch it with. Which, yeah, another Legendary. Great. Um, I don't know if I have another Dragon-type. And I do not, have an ele I do not for a fact, have another uh, Electric-type. Or go. Well, I actually have another ghost, but I don't know. It doesn't matter. But it just sucks that Rotom can't be on the team right now because of these two HM slaves now. So if you called me out on it, it's fine. I don't care. <laughs> I'm tired. I keep saying that every video too, so that's not a valid excuse anymore. But I'm fine with it. I don't see an issue with it. It was on the layout. It wasn't freaking. It was a part of the actual team at one point. I only chose to turn it into a HM slave later down the line because there was no other Pokemon that I could teach anything to. So I still counted it as a member of the team. So it's still in play. Ooh! If only I got that, then I'd have the whole trio. That would be awesome. Uh, but see ya. It genuinely sucks that Gen 2 is the worst gen to have a grass type Pokemon. In base gameplay. In a randomizer, doesn't matter. You could have a grass type and you could literally pass the whole generation. Or the whole uh, region. That's what I... You gotta be kidding me. At least this happens near the end of the episode and not halfway through. Mainly. I'm gonna have to save real quick and do this because I want to get at least to the gates and, like, tell the person, yeah, look at my gym badges. I have eight of them. Okay. Now we gotta fight a few more people and I think we're in the clear. Mag Mortar. I don't know why, but Magmore just looks like it has buck teeth. Uh, please don't have flame body. Okay, thank God. Oh, that almost took you out. God damn it, stop using Confuse Ray! I hate this. I think I have a full restore or something. Yeah, I have full restores. But it does the HP as well. I don't need that. I need the other one. Full restore. No, I need the other one. Don't I have... Do I not have... Wow. Oh, I don't want to use that. These are for, like, later. I guess I'm going to have to stick with... Freaking confusion. Uh, confusion. 
Yes. At least I don't have to worry about it as much. I should start every record, uh, recording session with a smile. Because that always gets me hyped up in the mood for a video. Always has when I do it. But then that freaking smile kind of goes to the frowny face when I can't think of anything to say. Please. God damn it! If I keep hurting myself with confusion, I am just stri Oh, okay. I'm out of confusion. Thank God. I was just gonna say, I was just gonna use a full restore anyway. It doesn't matter. I can buy more. I should have the money to do so. At least a few more. Oh, hi, Agron. Freaking, I love you. This is what Pokemon in general. Oh, f fuck you. I don't know if I blurted out any of the freaking cuss words because I haven't heard them so far. But I know for a fact I've said them. Next series, I'm gonna have to make sure that freaking I blurt I uh, blurt those out or uh, blemish or what what you do uh, bleep them out. That's what it is. One more trainer, and then we have the free ride. Pokemon University. <laughs> Got to beat up everyone along the way. Ruin their chances of success. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yes. Here's another thing I've noticed in a randomizer. Pokemon that could be like 10 levels to 20 levels to 30 levels lower than you could be literally like indestructible to a point like some of them could like live from your strongest attack and only take half damage but I don't know if the like it's just specifically that Pokemon that shows up that has the huge defense or what but yeah god damn it I don't want your number Yeah, I'll just give everybody my phone number. Here, have it. I'm a 10-year-old. Just have my phone number. It's not creepy at all. At all. It's not creepy at all. Yes. Now, we can leave. And get this encounter real quick. Because I want to see what I can get. Before I just speed right through the route, uh, or Victory Road and the Elite Four. I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe. It's free. You can choose to subscribe or unsubscribe later if you wanted to. We're going to be doing the Victory Road and the Elite Four next video. I hope you guys do enjoy it. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed the series so far. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.